Shoulders, breastplate, trousers, and loafers. Cause I'm old. Uh, we gon' make you laugh now. How serious can you take us? Gonna have to tell somebody what's gonna have you laughing later. Uh, Push the envelope, throw the script in the trash. That's our job. You just sit back and laugh. Uh, laugh now, laugh uh, later. Come take a little trip with the cast. In the end, I can bet you be laughing. Laugh now, laugh later. Whoa, what's up guys? It's another episode of Laugh Now, Laugh Later. I'm your host, comedian Will Merrill. As it says down here somewhere, probably blocking my fingers, but whatever. Uh, we got another exciting show here tonight, folks, man. I appreciate y'all tuning in before y'all go out and uh, get it in. You know, whether you hit the club or, you know, you hit the concert or what have you. Or you could be, you know, hitting the, hitting the strip club. I don't know. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of strip clubs. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of strip clubs. I'm gonna tell you why, because why should I pay some money if you see some behind shaking my face I can't touch? You know what I'm saying? Like all, all, all these strip club anthems and stuff like that, they just got chicks twerking and stuff like that, and then they throwing money, like, I, I wanna feel special. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> and then nowadays, you can just go on Instagram and watch that for free. So when I come from my own home, I can pull up Instagram, you know what I'm saying, and see a whole bunch of, follow a whole bunch of strippers, and see them shake their ass, and then throw money at my phone, and then once the, that video stop playing, I click the next video, and I pick my money back up, and I start all over again, you know? I like to call that the, uh, Making It Rain Internship, sponsored by uh, Google Plus and uh, Snapchat, because Snapchat's lit. But uh, it's funny, man. You know, I always uh, tell strippers that, and they get mad. They do. Or they are not happy to say, uh-uh. Not everybody strip for the money, okay? I do it to take care of my kids and pay for school. No, you're not. There's no strippers in college. There's no clear heels in biology. Which is true. So... One time I went to the strip club, man, and uh, I did. I went to support the strippers, but I didn't bring any money with me. Nah. All I bought was school supplies and baby stuff, you know. So I was in there making it rain with scantrons and everything. I was tipping the bar staff with, like, blue books and baby bibs. Man, I was buying shots of Infamil and Similac with my food stamp card. Man, it was lit, I'm telling you, man. Graphic calculators all over the place, boy. I had a money machine of nothing but... Uh, erasers. Yeah, they kicked me out though. Because uh, I threw a mechanical pencil in one of stripper's eyes. Guess she ain't see the point. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. But you know what else is going to be good is this first sketch right here. So y'all check this out and we'll be right back. I'll laugh now, laugh now. Oh, alright, alright. Y'all enjoyed that. Alright. Coming to the stage next, I have the light skin of all light skins here with me, Mr. Bowlegged Lou. Y'all give it up. Cut the music. All right, ladies in the house, say ah. <laughs> Fellas, let's say woo woo. Man, did y'all hear about Bill Cosby though, man? What y'all think about that? You know what I wonder? I wonder what Bill Cosby horse eat. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Ladies, if you in here and you know you bad, make some noise! <laughs> that's right, that's right, man. Oh, man, relationships, man. I had this one girl I was dating her, man. Had to give her back, man. Her breath smell like frog burp. <laughs> frog burp. <laughs> All right, man. Look, y'all, we make sure we get out there and vote, man. Voting is a time right now, but we need to make sure we do something. Come on, clap it up. Clap it up. Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I see you, brother, in the audience. I <laughs> have some tight jeans on. Boy, you got 32 cents in your pocket. <laughs> Woo, man, y'all give it up for my parents, man. They've been married for about 50 years, man. Come on, man, clap it up, clap it up. That's a long time. That's a long time, y'all. Yeah, all right. Man, 
Y'all heard of that dance, uh, Watch Me Whip, Watch Me Nay Nay? Yeah. My question is, who's Nay Nay? <laughs> you <laughs> suck. Oh, any Michael Jackson fans out there right now? Any Michael Jackson fans? Come on, man. Huh? All right. <laughs> Michael Jackson was a bad man. I'm telling you right now. That boy could hit a moonwalk. You know what I'm saying? I tried to dance at a wedding. Almost bust my ass. <laughs> okay. Clap it up. I don't get it. Oh, man. Six years, y'all. Six years. My aunt, she been cancer free, y'all. Come on. Six years. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it moving. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Woo! Man, it's hot in here, man. It's hotter than four thick chicks in the back of a Honda, huh? <laughs> Woo! Man. Man, 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 man. If you or someone you know is an unfunny comic, you may be eligible for financial compensation. Or nah, you're not. But as long as you keep these four key elements, you don't have to die on stage. Shout out your mama. Shout out the ladies. Always tell them to vote. And think about one person that everyone's a fan of. And then you can save your stage time. But do not let this distract you from the fact that the Atlanta Falcons blew a 25 point lead in the Super Bowl in the third quarter. That is not funny. Actually it is. I'm going to go on stage and laugh now. This has been PSA from Mad Game NT. Don't be like this guy. <laughs> the fuck is lost? <laughs> <laughs>、Hey, yeah, and we're back. I <laughs> hope y'all enjoyed that. But you know, these sketches. And us being on TV, yeah, it, it, ain't, it ain't cheap. It's not. Do you know how much drugs we have to sell to do something legitimate like this? This is not even cleaning the money. We're actually dirtying up the money even more. Like, this is, this is our untruth in regards to power. You know, this is, I'm like the, I'm the Julio of this whole situation. I'm, I probably will get killed at the end. You kill Julio! <laughs> ah! <laughs> At the end of this season, I'm gonna get killed off in a bad, bad way. And then there's gonna be a new guy coming in as Dre. And the end result is a sexy Nigerian butterscotch man.、Ah. But enough about that.、Uh, I'm saying all that just to say、uh, we're gonna go to this commercial break and we'll be right back on Laugh Now, Laugh Later. Hair Artifice Salon has shampoo and styles for only $25 and relaxers for only $30. Don't forget, if you send three, your next style is free. And something about the word free motivates me. Call 225 248 to schedule your next appointment at Hair Artifice Salon, home of the five star look for less. That's Hair Artifice Salon at 225 248 I am Shiloh. 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 We are Shiloh. Come check us out. Sonjet uno dos, uno dos. Esto va para todas las personas que hablan muy bien el inglés. Mi dinero bueno en el club. De que hablas también. No estoy 
es aquí solo para hacer todo el trabajo peligroso o ver a su giro dobrocado si mi inglés no es bueno paro yo soy un hombre también but I am a man too with feelings and they hurt too when you don't take my hard-earned money with the same smile you take all the other patrons because my money's good in the strip club too my money's good in the strip club too do I not make it rain do I not keep my hands to myself? Okay, there was this one time, but I was drunk. And I've never seen a woman like you before. But the bouncer spoke to me about that. And now I sit on my hands, yet you still treat me unkind with me both. My money is good, and this should have club too. Me money is good, and this should have club too. My money is good, and this should have club too. My money is well, it's good. My money is good in the strip club, too. And we're back. Laugh now, laugh later. Um, we're comfortable right now in the studio, but now we're going to kick it off to my dog, Jada Barber, at the spot. Your barber's favorite barber, uh, CEO of Mud Mafia. Shout out to them. And we'll check out him and what he has to say right here. Laugh now, laugh later. It's Jay the Bar. Good evening, and welcome to another segment of your barber's favorite barber, Jay Smith, at the spot, Barber and Beauty Salon, 7310 Outline. Tonight we're going to talk about Thanksgiving, good old traditions, where you used to meet up at, what you used to eat. Who used to cook? Everybody had that one auntie that they ain't cook from. We, we ain't gonna speak on that because if my auntie gonna be watching, she gonna say I'm talking about her. Option A and option B. What the heck is this? Well, it's chicken on that plate and beef on this plate, or was it beef on the bench? I don't know. <laughs> but don't eat the potato salad. But <laughs> check this out. Who all gotta cook? What they gonna cook, what they gonna bring. We do have the youngest aunt too that don't never bring nothing but bring them three badass kids. <laughs> Mom, don't be a tattletale. Is it the grew up to be badass adults? I ain't gonna talk about you too. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm talking about my <laughs> But look, Thanksgiving. What was y'all traditions? What kind of games y'all played? You know, we had a game called hide and seek and don't find your ass. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we gonna get some what what we say, slap the sweet potato pies. Everybody go to go get them two or three sweet potato pies, see who got the best pie. But you know the best pie got kept hidden for when everybody left. Your mama said, you know, I wasn't going to bring my damn pile. <laughs> wasn't going to let none of them eat my pie up. You know, and, and all the bad kids like all the sweets first. And their mama let them have them. We know we can't have the sweets, so we going to sit there and watch. And your mama always say, you better not whine, you better not say nothing. But at that point in time, you want to say, mama, look, let me, <laughs> let me get some of that cake too, mama. Man, they going to eat the cake up, mama, you know, on some other stuff. But who house y'all going to meet up at? Lately, we've been going to my big sister's house. My big sister ain't been acting right lately, though. She don't want nobody at her house no more. She like, man, when it's time to go home, it's time to go home. I'm talking about my sister don't even fix your food on plates no more. She put it in a styrofoam plate like you got it to go supper plate. Like, she just hand them out. Like, don't, don't even stop your car. Stay in line. I'm going to give you a plate. You keep rolling. Let your passenger window down. Happy Thanksgiving. Keep, ro keep it rolling. That's how my big sister rocking now. So, she don't want nobody at her house no more. And I understand that. Um. Don't have no party for Thanksgiving. It's not gonna turn out right. Everybody got that uncle that cry. I'm gonna tell you about that uncle that cry. When he get drunk, he get full of it, he cry. Stop having them Thanksgiving parties. Just have a dinner, make everybody go home. It's all love. We're gonna go watch the football game anyway. But on the other note, man, y'all have fun on Thanksgiving. 
Mad Game Entertainment, telling y'all happy Thanksgiving. Slap. Yo. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Mad Game Entertainment, your barber's favorite barber, J. Smith out. Happy Thanksgiving. Still here with us? You still there? All right, all right. Go ahead and put that outfit on. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you fresh or whatever. Okay, yeah, that's that is DM quality right there. That means if you're looking like you sliding them DMs, I would slide in those DMs. I'm gonna shoot my shot. You probably gonna block me, but uh, while I'm shooting my shot, why don't we go out there in the streets? Check out the man on the street. See what he gotta say. And see the folks in Baton Rouge have to say as well. Cause I tell you, they say some funny stuff. Man on the street. Laugh now, laugh later. Whoa, what it is, man. It's your boy Will Merrill, the man on the street. For Laugh Now, Laugh Later. We are here downtown in BR, in the streets of BR. Uh, shout out to the cast bus right there. Uh, and we got to ask people, you know, just random questions. And the question for tonight it's a hot topic. It's a very hot topic. Very touchy subject. So I don't know if they're even going to be willing to answer this question. But I want to ask the folks tonight, is it worse for a wife to find out her husband has other kids? Or is it worse for her, the husband to find out his children aren't his? I don't know. I think that's tough. I think that's a tough one. So we're going to find which one's worse. And uh, we'll let you guys decide. Right here on Laugh Not Laugh Later. Let's hit the streets. All right, so we're asking folks right now, um, what is worse, a husband finding out that his children aren't his or a wife finding out that her husband has kids on the side? What do you think is worse? I'm going to go with the husband having the kids on the side because that means he probably had a side chick for a long time. So who knows how long that was going. And then the wife. That didn't give a rights to probably try to kill him. <laughs> right, right, right. What about you, big dog? What do you think? I mean, it's pretty much within the same, within the same realm on both ends. The only difference is one is a female and one is a male. But I mean, it depends on the chemistry you got with that person, and you know how y'all get along. You know, that's about it. So pretty much, if you know, fellas out there, if y'all got like side families, which could be very expensive, you need to keep them families on the side. The practice family, keep the practice family on the practice squad. They come out, it's gonna be trouble. What do you think is worse? Uh, do you think it's um, a husband finding out that his kids aren't his, or a wife finding out her husband uh, has kids on the side? Well, me, I think. I think uh, if a wife, uh, no, a husband finding out that his kid, them kids is not his, I think that's worse. Yeah, so pretty much he didn't raise his kids his yeah. entire life and couldn't find out they're not even his? Yeah. That's what I think. I think that's worse because if it was me and I find out the kid's not mine, well, yeah, I'm going to blow up. <laughs> right. You know, it's time to cut up after that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I understand that. Yeah, I got one daughter, you know. Now, I know that's mine, but. But you know, you you don't raise kids all your life, and then you come to find out they not yours, and then she then she turn around and tell you they not yours, and you just you use a damn fool. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true, man. Look, hey, women, let the dude know if he the daddy or not. Just don't have anybody be the daddy. Like, just find the right daddy. Find the daddy. That's it. That's it, folks. Uh, we got some answers. We wanna know what you guys think. So why don't y'all follow, follow me on Instagram right now, Instagram, Twitter. Use the hashtag laugh now, laugh later, six, but condense it. So it's not going to be actual that hashtag. It's going to be hashtag LNLL6. Use that hashtag. Tell us what you think. Do you think that it's worse for a husband to find out that his kids aren't his or for a wife to find out that her husband has kids on the side? You know, is it this child ain't mine? 
Like, forget them kids, or you got a whole side kid and side family. Now, side families are expensive. I ain't gonna lie. But you can't beat a murder rap, <laughs> especially the first degree. No matter what they say. No matter what they say. I've been a man on the street. We'll see y'all next time. All that Hi there. Have you found that special someone you'd like to take that next step with, but aren't sure what to do next? If so, sign up for Bruno Mars's School of Suicide Packs on CD, and we'll have you going in just a few weeks. With this four CD box set, we'll teach you all the different techniques and tactics that you can use to take that next step. We've also got some of his great hits like Jumping on a Grenade. Jump on a grenade. Perhaps you'd like to throw yourself and your hand in the way of a blade. We'll also teach you about blades and which ones it'll take to go right through the pieces of the parts that you need to sever. Cut your hand off. We'll also teach you how to jump in front of a train. We'll also make sure we'll download to an app all the schedules that you need in train locations. You can jump in front of a train. We've also got the conventional yet messy steps on using a bullet to the brain. Take a bullet right to the brain. <laughs> now, make sure you go out and do something dumb like get married before you find yourself locked out of heaven. And call now for Bruno Mars's School of Suicide Packs on CD. Suicidal teenage girls are on standby. But they will not be long. Don't you play walk or something? Come on. I'm trying to play, man. I know my dog won't play me like this. I know my. <laughs> what you can't knock on the door or something? Watch There, come on, man. Open the door, dog. All right, all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on, Jay. What y'all doing here, man? Right, man. Watch out, man. I'm about to get to the bottom of this. Real talk. I'm real aggravated. What? Man, look, keep it G with a G, man. Did they just try to sleep with you? Man, I knew this was gonna come up. All right, yeah, she did, but I told her no. You know, I would never try to ruin our friendship like that. I, I told you. Do that. I told you. Look, shut up. So she tried to sleep with you, and you wasn't gonna say nothing? Yeah, I told her. Tell the truth, girl. You still talking? So. You told her to be quiet about it? Yeah, I told her not to say anything. You see? Man, stop talking. I thought we was boys, bro. I thought, why I gotta confront you with this, man? I know, I know, and I'm sorry. Look, you know I would never do anything to jeopardize our friendship or ruin your trust. You're like a brother to me, Jay. I, you know I wouldn't do you like that. Wait, why not? That's what I want to know. Why not? What the hell you mean, why not? Because you, you don't want to rip my girl? Why not? Why you wouldn't smash my girl? Was she beneath you or something? No. Well, hold up. Bro, are you trying to tell me you mad because I didn't smash your old lady? Yes, I'm mad you didn't smash my old lady. What? You, you should want to rip my old lady. I mean, you think I don't deserve to deal something? Wait a minute. Hold up. Dog, are you listening to yourself? Your girl just told you she's tried to sleep with your best friend behind your back. Wait, behind my back? It was my idea. I told you he think he better than you. What? Wait, dog. Just because my girl ain't go to college and she a cashier, a high neighbor, and a bartender at Playboys, what, you think she below you or something? <laughs> no. Dog, listen to me. I didn't smash your girl because she's your girl. I mean, what type of friend would I be if I smashed your girl? A loyal one? You tell him, boo. He ain't loyal. What? Are you serious right now? Dead serious, serious. man. Nah. I'm saying like what? I'm, I'm too fat. I'm too skinny. I'm too bright. Uh, my booty too small. I mean, what is it? Are you just scared to come get this jelly? No, Deja. I'd hit it. I told you I'd hit it, but I wouldn't. Well, just rip it then. Dog, why do you want me to smash your girl so because bad? Because that's what we do, man, and I just smash those girls. What? You smash my exes? Some of them. Keisha, Darnisha, what? Shaquita, Maya, Kathy. Dog, how could you? That's what we boys, man. That's what we do, man. We share everything. Remember we had didn't have enough money to get the Jabot outfit, and you bought the jacket, and I bought the pants? Yeah. That's something like that. No. 
No, this is nothing like that. Nothing at all like that. This Better is... idea. Remember we went to the classic and we had them two freaks? Uh -huh. The one that had one condom and I let you go first? Yeah. yeah. But that's what this like, man. I insist. Yo, I'm sorry. Are you gonna get this little yeah or what? Look, I'm sorry. That ain't me. I can't do it. I can't do it. Man, look. If you don't rip my girl, we ain't friends no more. And I'm not the best man in your way. What? So it's like that? Definitely like that. What you looking at? Look at this. What you gonna do? I'm all right, all right, all right. Damn it. Fine. I'll rip your girl. So you gonna rip her? Yes. I'll rip your girl. So glad, bro. Cause all right, I bought my tuck for your way. Check this out. I'm gonna run some errands. Well, it's not really errands. I'm gonna rip my cousin's wife. So y'all got about two hours. Baby, take it easy on them. Okay. Don't use everything out the party bag, though. I got gotcha. you. Have fun, big dog. Wrap it up. No, this is crap, Jay. So how you wanna do this, Deja? You wanna watch a movie or? Boy, come up here and get this cheetah. Cheetah? That's a big cat, ain't it? <laughs> I know. Ah. That's it, y'all. I'm glad y'all survived another episode of Laugh Now, Laugh Later. Like I said, we're in our sixth season, man. We've been doing it for a long time. We could not have gone to this season without you all. So thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of Laugh Now, Laugh Later. Now, before we go, we got one more person who wants to say thank y'all and wish y'all good night. And without further ado, it is everyone's favorite turner, T. Where you at, T? Thank y'all. Good night. Good night. Had to say it twice so you know it's real. <laughs> I'm Will Merrill. Y'all be good, or we'll be good at it. My friend, Bow Legged Lou. <laughs> Between the month of January and December, make some noise. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Come on, fellas. Give it some. So you do it with the condoms. They're married. Oh, yeah. Huh. Well, get tested every year. Get my